హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ అన్ ఆన్లైన్ లెక్చర్ సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ కంపోజిట్ మటీరియల్స్ టుడే వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ ద యూనిట్ నెంబర్ ఫిఫ్త్ టెస్టింగ్ ఇన్స్పెక్షన్ అండ్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఇన్ ద కంపోజిట్ టాపిక్ టు బి లర్న్ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ ఫస్ట్ ఈజ్ అ నాన్ డిస్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇన్స్పెక్షన్ ఎన్డిఐ ఆఫ్ కంపోజిట్స్ ఎన్డిటి మెథడ్స్ మిస్ నాన్ డిస్ట్రక్టివ్ టెస్టింగ్ మెథడ్ దేర్ ఆర్ సెవరల్ మెథడ్స్ బట్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ లెక్చర్ we will be discuss the two methods first one is ultrasonic testing second one is a pulse echo system first of all discuss about the non destructive inspection of composites non destruction testing of the composites for flow and failure potential in the critical applications supporting an array of complex composite materials non destructive testing of the composite is essential as some composites such as short fiber and poured material either in thermoset or thermoplastic matrix and continuous fiber and poured materials are prone to flaw in the manufacturing due to deep flaw in all matrix system ndt techniques are well developed for the conventional metallic materials a number of ndt techniques are available for the detection of defects in the composite materials too thus there are primary extension of those originally developed for metals visual inspection and coin tapping are often employed both in metal as well as in composite to obtain first hand information about the health of the components for rel- reliable and more specific details almost in variably other methods of ndt are restored to ndt methods having ultrasonic radiographic acoustic infra thermography ed current testing and sirography there are various methods first method which is ultrasonic testing ultrasonic testing involves sending the ultrasonic waves through the specific materials and the signals received from the transmitted or reflected waves are to be analyzed for the making conclusion regarding to the possible defects in the composites ultrasonic waves are known as stress waves or mechanical waves that propagates in solids liquids and gases at frequencies above the normal human audible range is the 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz the amplitude velocity and frequency of ultrasonic waves are related by lambda is equal to c divided by f where the lambda c and f are the lambda means amplitude then c is the velocity and f is the frequency of the ultrasonic waves in the medium so which they are propagating ultrasonic waves with low frequency have higher penetrative power and more suitable for the composite laminates of higher thickness on the other hand the high frequency waves are more sensitive to defect the test frequency is chosen depending on the number of factors such as parts thickness types of material degree of anisotropy types of the defects etc the pmc pmc means the polymer metal uh, polymer matrix composites it is a typically lie between 1 to 15 megahertz of which lower frequencies are used in thick laminate and higher frequency in this thin laminates see the through transmission techniques of this ultrasonic there are arranged here in the right side there are display unit which is crt then at the middle which is defect is to be detected which is laminate under the testing there are uh, joining of amplifier transducer which are to be receiving then complant are at the both sides then the pulse generator are also attached to the system in this system methods 
द ट्रांसमिटिंग एंड रिसीविंग ट्रांसड्यूसर आर हेल्ड ऑन द फ्रंट एंड बैक सरफेस ऑफ द लेमिनेट सच द ट्रांसमिटेड सिग्नल आर टू बी रिसीव्ड एंड कन्वर्टेड इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल बाय द रिसीविंग ट्रांसड्यूसर एम्पलीफाइड एंड फाइनली डिस्प्ले ऑन द कैथोड रे ट्यूब विच इज द सी आर टी विच आर शोन इन द फिगर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक डिस्प्ले इन द थ्रू ट्रांसमिशन टेक्निक्स शो टू शार्प पिक्स द फर्स्ट विच इज टू बी लार्जर ऑफ द टू पिक्स करस्पॉन्ड टू द एनिट प्रिपेड वेव्स द प्रोपेगेट थ्रू द लैमिनेट वेन द वेव्स कम एक्रॉस अ डिपेक्ट अ पार्शियल लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी रेफर टू द एंड अटेंशन ऑकर्स द एटेंटेड वेव्स आर सीन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्मॉलर पिक्स दैट एपियर सेकेंडली now turn to next which is pulse ecosystem in this system only the transducer is used that works in the transmitting modes as well as receiving modes the input waves are transmitted by the transducer in the transmitting mode and the reflected waves are to be received by the receiving modes at a defect location three peaks are seen in the crt screen the peaks the first peak is the largest and its correspond to the waves reflected by the front surface of the laminate when the waves come across any defects the attenuation occurs parts of these waves are reflected from the internal defect surface and they appears as the second peak similarly the waves that get reflected from the back surface of the laminate appears as the third peak see further see the pulse ecosystem here also the crt display unit are here then depict the laminate under the testing are to consider then the pulse generator at the left side and the transducer which transmitting come receiving transducer are used there are various advantages of this pulse ecosystem in this add uh, in the advantages there are highly versatile techniques are to use to detect the defects then second one is a flow detection for the thickness measurement of the parts third one is the process can be automated and details the defect can be obtained in the various form formats in the next one in the ultrasonic testing no elaborate parts preparation is required it is a very quick techniques that provides inst- instantaneous results in this pulse echo techniques assess the only one side of the part is sufficient ultrasonic testing is a highly convenient process as it is carried out using the portable equipment ultrasonic testing does not involve any hazardous process or any hazardous material that can pose a risk of safety of the operator then there are some disadvantages in the ultrasonic testing is effective in defect uh, detecting the defects that are planar in general orientation it is difficult to detect the linear defect parallel to the applied beams by this method this method is not suitable for the composite laminate with transverse matrix cracks and fiber misalignment it is difficult to carry the ultrasonic testing of component with rough surface at least one surface of the part must be accessible for this the next one is a uh, for efficient transfer of signal a coupling medium is required between the parts and the piezoelectrical transducer thank you friends